Hey guys, so I've not been able to talk to you guys much since I've been home. We came home on Monday and pretty much came home and I cleaned a ton, showered, did all of our laundry. We had like four or five loads of laundry to do. Um, it just got really busy. So I didn't really get to talk to you guys on the day I flew home. Uh, Tuesday came around, which was yesterday, and I went, what are you doing, bro? I went and picked up Bella from my parents' house, and my niece was there, my brother, so I got to hang out with them for a while, and again, did not get to film. So now it is Wednesday, and now I can kind of update you guys on everything. Um, my computer has been really, really lagging. I have footage all the way back from, today is September 6th, I have footage that dates all the way back to August 18th. So, I mean, we're somewhat close to a month of footage that I have not edited. And I've talked to you guys all the time that usually in one day, I can film about an hour to two hours worth of footage in one day. So, you do the math. My computer is completely full. Also, living in Florida, we are in a direct, well, we don't know. Uh, we are directly impacted by Hurricane Irma. So... We are preparing for that. We spent most of the day yesterday, other than getting my cat, um, we spent most of the day getting food and water and stuff. We really did not have very good luck getting water or food because everywhere we went was seriously a nightmare. It was the worst. Like yesterday sucked. I almost got in a fight with a middle-aged man at a gas station. It just was terrible. Um, so needless to say, it's just been wild um the past couple of days we literally came home to people in a panic so i'm just trying to take it for what it is we get hurricanes all the time and we just want to be safe and sorry so we went last night and we bought boards so we can board up the house while i was on my trip my apple watch broke again so <laughs> um i don't know if i just have really bad luck i don't really know why this is happening but my apple watch broke so Basically what was happening is it kept shooting out like a really bright light and then after the bright light it would turn green and then after green eventually the display would come on and then throughout the day it turned into where the screen just stayed green. It would shoot a bright white light and then just turn green and then stay green um, and then with time after it turned green um, now it's to a point where it just doesn't turn on at all. It's on I believe but like there's no display. You can't see anything. I was on the phone with Apple for a while getting that fixed up so I do have a replacement watch coming I don't think it's gonna come before the hurricane but who cares uh, technically I should have went into the store and done this because then it would have shipped out today and I would have it not tomorrow but the day after but now I'm looking until probably like late next week having my watch because um, when the hurricane comes I bet you like FedEx won't be working so really sucks but it is what it is I'm used to it. I went weeks without it before. I can do it again. It's not a big deal. It's just frustrating. This is going to be my fourth watch. So anyway, my husband right now is out looking for sandbags. There's a couple locations in the area that is giving that are giving out free sandbags. I'm just really praying that this hurricane uh, veers another way. I'm gonna try not to talk about it too much on this vlog just because the past couple of vlogs have just been like so stressful and so just kind of like all over the place. Uh, but welcome to my life. <laughs> That's just how it's been for us lately. My heart and prayers go to everyone who was affected by Hurricane Harvey. Uh, I just, I watch these videos and just bawl my eyes out. And I do know that Florida could be looking at the next you know, devastation. So I'm just praying for anyone who was affected by Harvey and is affected, you know, by Hurricane Irma. We're really looking in for a fight this year. This year is gonna be a tough one when it comes to hurricane season. Next couple weeks are probably gonna be very crazy again for us. God willing, we get to, you know, be able to come home to a home. Uh, it's gonna be, it's gonna be different the pet next couple of weeks. And hopefully I can get the vlogs cut up before I may have to take another hiatus, who knows? where things are gonna go. We'll know better when it gets closer. Right now it's just still so far away and we don't know the exact path it's taking that we haven't really, um, we haven't really, you know, figured out what days we'd be leaving, leaving here and um, everything like that. You guys, I did it. I finally did it. This vlog took me the entire day to edit. I don't know how much the footage originally was because I was adding footage day by day. So I don't know what it originally was. If I had to guess, I'd say anywhere between three to five hours uh, that I broke down to 45 minutes. So this literally took me the entire day to edit. Good morning, guys. So it has been crazy 
since we've been home, um, it's just like really sucked because there's just been like so much go on and everyone is prepping for this stupid hurricane. It's so beautiful outside too. That's like another thing that's like so weird. It's so beautiful outside and just to know that a hurricane is going to be coming with mass destruction in a few days just drives me nuts. But anyway, I got my vlog up. Finally, that was such a relief. I've been dying to get that stupid vlog up. My husband and I got woke up a little bit early this morning because my mother-in-law needed to borrow my husband to go shopping for a router. So she wanted to buy a new one before the storm because myself as well as my sister-in-law who will be there, we both work remotely uh, for our company. So we both kind of need internet and thankfully they have a generator. So that's kind of why we're all going to go powwow over there. And they have a generator, their house is very well built, so we all just feel safer being in my in-laws house. So that's where we are planning on going. It's going to be extremely stressful because there are going to be nine adults, one child, one toddler, one infant, five dogs, and one cat all in one house. We're going to board up the house, we're going to put some boards over the windows and everything, and uh tonight we're supposed to go see the movie it it's kind of really crappy timing the last thing i really want to do tonight is go see a movie but my husband wanted to go so i guess we're gonna go i've been wanting to see the movie it's just the timing really sucks this is what i look like when i roll out of bed but good morning guys today is friday so update for you guys i don't know that i'll be getting videos up for a while um Hurricane Irma went for an even worse turn. It has moved more to the west. I need to pack everything. I need to pack everything for the dogs, for the cat, for myself. Today's gonna be spent getting some work done and then packing everything. Hey guys, so it's much later in the day. It's now 2.30. I like have no appetite. <laughs> like don't wanna eat anything cause I just like my head's elsewhere but I probably should have some lunch. I ran around this morning and picked up just like last minute things just I kind of wanted to see if the roads were going to be like overly packed and it, they weren't at all. Everyone pretty much went crazy the first couple days to where everything was pretty empty today. I was able to get bread, which we haven't been able to find for days. Number one, Home Goods has the best Halloween decor. Just, I was drooling, but of course I can't buy any because who knows where I'm going to put it. Um, oh, you know what? I need to fill that up with water too. Anyway, um, yeah, so Home Goods had so much Halloween decor that I was just falling in love. But I picked up some stuff there and at Target, so I might as well show you what I got. So because I don't know if water will be any good and I still wanna wear some sort of cover up during the hurricane, I went ahead and picked up some cleansing towelettes just to kind of cleanse my face. I think we'll have some baby wipes as well. Just make sure that we have something that will kind of clean us up a little bit so we're not so gross. I needed more face powder, so I switched back to my tried and true. This is the True Match uh, Super Blendable Powder. This one I got in W2 Light Ivory. I'm pretty sure this is my color, but I can't remember. Then these were buy two, get a $5 gift card, plus there's a $3 Target um, manufacturer's coupon as well. I guess it was manufacturer's coupon. Anyway, so I bought two of these. I bought this scent, which is Tropical Sunrise. I also got Moonlight Breeze, I think is what it's called. These smell amazing i've never tried them before or at least i don't think so but holy crap these smell amazing they are well worth the price because these are a little more expensive um you get 42 of these which 42 could really only be like 20 loads because some loads you need to use two and some loads you have to use three so you're paying a lot for the amount of loads you get um but i love this scent so i may start getting this in the liquid i haven't used this moisturizer in forever but I thought I would try it. Um, last time I used it, it gave me really, really bad breakouts. But they didn't have the moisturizer I usually use. I usually use the St. Ives Timeless Skin Collagen Elastin Moisturizer, but they didn't have it. So I am gonna try this again and hopefully it doesn't break me out. And then these reusable bags were actually 50 cents at Home Goods. They were on clearance. So that was exciting because I knew I wanted to get some of these, which is the main reason why I went there. So this was on clearance for 50 cents. Usually they're a dollar a piece. So I got this style and then, oh, also at Target, I got some more deodorant because they had a dollar off coupon. Thank you for focusing, camera. Come on, get yourself together. Whatever, I got deodorant. But they had this style bag, but they also had this Aloha style. I bought two of them. So this one I thought was so 
stinking. So this should be enough, including my backpacks and duffel bag. I'll have enough stuff I can pack in here because obviously I'm gonna need some room for my dogs, myself, my husband, all of us. So um, I wanted to get some of these so I could pack some food and everything in it. Like I said, I did find some bread. Then at Home Goods, I mainly went because I wanted to get some dog toys. So they had something new to play with at the house. I hope it doesn't cause a fight. But uh, this was $5.99. I don't know what this brand is. Pet Lou maybe? But this type of material, they usually take longer to destroy. They do eventually destroy it, but it does take them longer. So I went ahead and got them one of these. It's not cute at all. In fact, what is it, a frog? I hate frogs. You guys know I hate frogs, but I got it because of the material and it was the only stupid design they had and I thought all the dogs can play tug of war with this and then for more of the chewing I got one of these these are just like it's like a rubber chew thing they don't usually like these to be honest but there's a slot that you can put dog treats in so I thought eh, you know what maybe if I put some treats in here they'll want to you know chew it so got that and then again at home goods I got the Burt's Bees for dogs this is waterless shampoo there's gonna be five dogs in the house so I was like you know what I will take it upon myself to make sure that these dogs smell good at least if my dogs smell good I'm okay so I went ahead and got some waterless shampoo just to keep them clean I don't want to mess up my in-laws house having dirty dogs when they don't even own a dog so I didn't think it was fair to bring you know a bunch of dirty dogs over so I thought you know what I'll get some waterless shampoo at least because we might not be able to bathe them. So at least they have this. I'm going to pair it with these wipes. You guys know I love these. I use these all the time on the dogs. If company is coming over, if, you know, the dogs just haven't been bathed for about a week, I will use these. And these are amazing at freshening up your dog's coat. Makes them soft again. So these will tend to, like, go dry. So usually I use two wipes on the dog. But this will help me just have to use one. So I'll use one wipe per dog and I'll spray this on them and kind of rub it in. And I think it will last a while. So I really, really like this combo. I'm really excited for it. And then at Publix, I went ahead and bought some lemon scented disinfecting wipes. These are just convenient. I'm gonna put these in the bag just in case I need to wipe anything down, uh, either at their house, at my house. So that is everything that I bought. My dad actually texted me earlier and he was at Lowe's and they had a pallet full of, of water. There's no water in my city. They live, like I said, almost an hour away. So he found a pallet of water. He's gonna get me a case and I'm gonna go meet him halfway and pick it up. I have topped off my gas every single day. Um, I just topped it off um, like an hour ago. So I've been pretty good at conserving gas. Um, meeting him halfway is gonna use some gas, but at least not too much. Hey guys, so pardon my appearance. I know this is bad, but it's been a really stressful week and I figured I would update you guys. So last night was the hurricane. As you can see, I do have power. I am home in my own house. Um, I guess we'll start like kind of at the beginning. So this storm was very, very scary. Uh, I've lived in Florida my entire life and have gone through hurricane after hurricane after hurricane But this one was just so different. I don't know if the media Really scared people which 
I'll get into that in a second. Um, I don't know what made this one such a scary one. I think the fact of so many evacuations, a category five hurricane, this was a monster of a storm. I guess I would have last talked to you guys probably before the storm, maybe on like Friday I would have last talked to you guys. Saturday we just kind of hung out and kind of decided whether or not we should go over to my in-laws house to ride out the storm there and we kind of just waited because we wanted to see when the storm was going to happen. Originally it was like talks that on Saturday you would have to be wherever you needed to be because the storm, the outer winds would still be devastating. So you should have been where you wanted to be on Saturday. But it ended up turning out to where we didn't have to go over to my in-laws house until like we went in the afternoon on Sunday, but we really didn't even need to be there until like 7 or 8 o'clock at night because the winds did not start picking up until I'd say around like 9, 10 o'clock at night is when the winds really started to pick up. It kind of went from like something like us Floridians are really used to. We're used to thunderstorms, like it doesn't phase us. So it kind of started out that way and then we started getting the winds where we knew it was not just a normal storm. All of us were together. We had five dogs. We had like 10 adults or something like that. Uh, you know, my nephews were there and my Bella. Sorry, I am so tired. I'm gonna be yawning throughout this entire part. It was scary. I'm not gonna lie. Um, it was scary. You could hear things breaking all around you. You could hear trees falling all around you. Things were flying into the house. Uh, there was constantly tornado warnings, tornadoes going around everywhere, and I really found myself spending most of the storm just praying and praying and praying and praying and just asking for power to resume, as lame as that sounds, but you know, it's scary being in the middle of the night with no electricity. You, we needed electricity to know where the storm was, to know, you know, is it gonna get any worse? Like the whole night, all of us were just kind of thinking, which we were all sleeping in our rooms, but we all ended up waking up from the storm because it came around like 2 a.m. But all of us literally just needed to know, like, is it over yet? Because like, it was so long and we just wanted it to be over. Originally, it was supposed to ride up the west coast, which still was really, really bad for us because we were still going to get those eastern winds where those were the worst. Like, the east side of the storm was the worst part of the entire storm. But then when it shifted completely over to going up the west side, we knew that this was going to be pretty devastating. So, it went from directly hitting Tampa to directly hitting us. So, we got hit uh, pretty hard. It was definitely like a more devastating storm that I've ever had to live through. I guess because being an adult, it's different than being a kid, living with your parents, you know, cleaning up the aftermath, but like not having to worry about what you'd have to pay for and will you have a home to go home to. Um, it was definitely a very different storm. The storm happened and everything and day broke. We had power throughout the entire night. We never lost power at my in-laws house, which I was so grateful for. And so I remember it was maybe maybe 3 or 4 a.m. And I, I had texted my neighbors asking, you know, if there was power and how my house was and everything. And obviously they couldn't see the house. But they said that there was power here where I live. And I was so grateful. Um, so I was really excited. Um, very thankful for that. Come time where all of us were going to wake up and have some breakfast, the power went out. We were literally about to make breakfast, have some coffee, you know, be very grateful that we had power and the power went out. My father-in-law ended up taking me home because I didn't have a car because I wanted to keep it in the garage. So my father-in-law took me home and there are trees everywhere. There is, There are down power lines. There were trees on top of houses. There are trees on top of cars. From where they live, there's only like a little bit of ways of getting to my house. So every road that we were taking to try and get home, there were just trees everywhere, all over the streets, all over the roads, and you couldn't get through. And if there wasn't a tree, there was a down power line. So honestly, like I was then thinking, okay, I'm not gonna be able to get home. And it was starting to get a little bit stuffy in the house. Uh, it was starting to get a little bit crammed. We There was just so many adults in the house. Everyone was starting to get a little bit just tired of waiting out the storm. Everyone it, for the past week has been stressing out. So I started thinking that I probably wouldn't be able to make it home. And I really wanted to come home so I could start you know, evaluating the damage on my house and, and figure things out and figure out, you know, 
is my house okay? What what are we gonna have to, you know, pay for? So I wanted to see what was going on and thankfully, by the grace of God, I got home and we have power. Everything is working good. The only damage that we have to our house is we have a panel missing from one side of our fence and then a long panel missing on the back. My back part of the fence is actually my neighbor's and I don't know how to discuss that with them because all day the fence has been lying down and like everyone usually clean cleans up like immediately after the hurricane everyone goes out and cleans up and evaluates what needs to be done and that first day after the hurricane people kind of cleaned everything up and my neighbor wasn't cleaning up the fence so I don't know how to explain to them like this is your fence um because it is it's his fence and I, I I just don't know if maybe he just wanted to relax he had had too much stress he didn't want to clean up but his fence is in my yard so uh kind of just want to gone but uh anyway i i also we have to we do have to replace a fence though on um one of our fence pieces we're gonna replace i talked to my neighbors and was like hey i'm so sorry like i wasn't able to replace it today but i promise you we're gonna be able to replace it very very soon there's just been a lot that we've been having to do today we've just had like such a busy day i'm exhausted um we didn't get any sleep last night like my husband i i kept waking up so i kept like waking him up uh just tossing and turning and you know between packing everything back up coming here i cleaned the floors i cleaned the house because i just felt gross i was really sweaty from being at my in-laws house who they don't have power so i was getting really sweaty and going back and forth with the driving and like seeing the aftermath of of the hurricane like just so many different emotions were coming up where I just felt gross. So we ended up not being able to fix the fence today, but we're definitely gonna fix it. You know, within the next couple of days, we'll be able to fix it. But anyway, one thing that does really suck is we have no cable and no internet. My job is the internet. <laughs> um, so I don't know how long that's gonna be able to last. And not only do we not have any cable or internet, there must be a tower down for my cell phone. So I literally cannot communicate to anyone um i have no no internet no no phone uh you know nothing once everything was cleared i did drive out of town quite a ways and i just kept driving until i started getting notifications on my phone once i started getting notifications i knew that i was in some sort of area where i had the ability to text people I, I haven't been able to text my my family ask how everyone is i haven't been able to check the news i have no idea like the destruction that it's done elsewhere or you know what all is going on i just know my little area anyway that's it i'm gonna go ahead and wrap this up before my husband gives me the evil eye any longer i love you guys thank you for watching and we will try and update you guys tomorrow good morning guys i'm a hot mess so it is tuesday and I'm sighing a much bigger sigh of relief. My biggest concern yesterday was I didn't know if my neighbor knew that the fence that was lying into our neighbor in our yard, I don't I didn't know if they knew it was their fence. That was like our <laughs> our biggest concern. Um, they look like the original homeowners of the house, so you would think that they knew. Anyway, that was my biggest concern yesterday. I'm like, do they even know? Because they saw the fence was down and they weren't doing anything. But my husband made a good point that he thinks maybe they were letting the fence dry. Because if you first put it up, it's so brittle and it's flimsy and it just, it'll fall apart. So my husband's like, he probably was just letting it dry so that he could salvage that same fence. So I was like, oh, that's a really good point. That probably is what he did. Being new homeowners, we didn't think about that the last hurricane, so we replaced it. So anyway, I woke up this morning and was like, okay, let me look back there just to see if maybe he's doing anything to it, and thankfully the fence was up. Um, so we have our fence fixed in the back. All we have to do is fix our fence on the side, and we'll be good to go. So that's really exciting. So anyway, we still do not have internet. I do have cell now. I can use my cell phone as far as data goes, which sucks because we don't have unlimited anymore because all of us are always on Wi-Fi. I think we still have like enough where I could like use data for the next couple days, but it's gonna be really hard to work. Obviously, I'm not gonna be able to do any YouTube the next couple days. A lot of people are seeing a lot of devastation from Hurricane Irma. You know, we may have like a good story. We may be able to say, look, we had power the whole time. You know, we didn't have a lot of damage other than our fence. Our fence is gonna to go probably every time because our fence is getting old but you know not everyone has that story so don't watch my youtube channel and see how we've had power and and we're comfortable don't watch my story and think that hurricane Irma did nothing because this storm was so incredibly devastating to so many 
people, mainly obviously in the islands, but such an incredibly devastating storm. So just be thankful that you didn't go through that during the weekend. Be thankful that you were safe or you were, like I was seeing people having Snapchat. They were doing like festival stuff, like fall stuff. Like just be grateful that you got to do that. We had to miss out this past weekend, but we're gonna go strong. I'm gonna have my hubby, once we get done with our repairs, I'm gonna have him bring down all the fall stuff so that I can bring joy back into this house. Put fall everywhere. I told him the day we were coming back from our trip, I told him that day we came back, I wanted everything fall. I, it was like, summer was over, that was our last true out for summer, everything was gonna be fall. And because of the hurricane, uh, the fall decor was kind of lasting on my mind. But after all of our fi like fixes are done and we know like what we can spend, you better believe I will be going to Home Goods to shop for decor because I'm telling you, they had the best Halloween decor and fall decor like the most beautiful pieces not like the cheesy pieces like the cheesy Halloween pieces or the cheesy fall pieces very beautiful elegant inexpensive Gorgeous like fall and Halloween time decor. So I will be going there. Hey guys, so small update Yet again, no makeup. What else is new? But small update. It is Wednesday now still no cable and internet We've been wanting to cancel our provider for a while now because they have been overcharging and they won't change the price. The introductory price, because someone bought them out, is now over $100 less than what we're paying for the same exact package. So, we actually are canceling, or we already did cancel our provider, and we're going with a new company. So we're waiting to hear from them so that we can get it set up. It probably won't get set up till tomorrow. Uh, hopefully, we looked online and it said Monday was the earliest, but hopefully that's not the case because then we're looking at an even bigger nightmare. I need, I need internet. My job requires internet. So thankfully I've been able to get enough done on my phone that I've been able to get by, but uh, this hurricane really put a damper in things. We just now took the board from my office, so now I can sit in my office again without it being a dungeon. Just got done doing that, that's why I'm such a hot, sweaty mess. It's like almost 100 degrees outside. So for everyone who doesn't have power, I feel for you. We've been going to my in-laws house, they still don't have power. My in-laws came and slept over last night because they don't have power and we made dinner and everything, or I made dinner. Uh, we just done, did the board, we have to repaint where they drilled into the wall. Why they did it the way that they did, I'll never understand, but it is what it is. So we're gonna have to repaint the outside of our like window. It's been a hot mess, you guys, but we are still so fortunate. I am not trying to complain in any way, um, but anytime something gets disrupted in your normal everyday life, uh, I think you still have the right to at least say something, you know? Like I, I have it, I am so blessed, and there's just no other way of putting it. I'm so fortunate, I am so blessed in how it played out uh, that we, have had power this whole time. The only thing we lost was internet and cable. Amazing. So I'm not trying to complain in any way. I'm just saying when anything gets disrupted, I feel anybody has the right to say something. So it is much later in the day today. Uh, we ordered a rotisserie chicken. My husband and I did because we wanted to order something like I was gonna cook tonight, but I didn't lay anything out and we wanted to make like a really yummy, like good meal, warm meal for my in-laws. I made us enchiladas last night and so we wanted to get like a chicken tonight and we wanted something just really filling and yummy and something good for them because they still don't have any power so we just wanted to order something just so we could have a nice dinner and just kind of relax and just have a good evening other than that i we have been calling and calling and calling and calling this new provider trying to get someone out here to install internet for us and we have called multiple times and they haven't called us back once not only that they were supposed to have called us back within an hour they were supposed to have called us by like 11 30 it's almost 3 30 right now and we still haven't heard from them we have called multiple times we spoke with multiple representatives and they all say we have to talk to this specific individual if we had gotten back to them earlier today chances are we would have had internet today but now we're gonna have to wait until tomorrow so what sucks with that is i'm gonna have to wait for them to come which fingers crossed they even come tomorrow just waiting for them to call me back like literally i keep calling and calling and calling calling and calling and I still have not heard back from the person I need to hear back from. Oh, I wanted to talk about the new iPhone. I don't know which one I'm gonna get. The new iPhone X is a lot of money and I know a lot of people are doing the like 
renting phones and I know to a lot of people it makes sense it's something that they like to do they're okay with paying monthly for their phone instead of paying like all right up front I get that um, for me personally I like to own I don't like to lease anything I don't lease my house I don't lease my car I don't lease anything I own everything um, that's just me this lease is just I'm not about so when it comes to the new iPhone X I would be willing to get it it doesn't come out until October, and I think it ships November, which is a uh, which is a bummer. Besides that, I don't think that they're gonna have it in a rose gold color. Bummer. And then also, I don't like that it's the same size as my iPhone 6. I want a bigger phone. Like I want the physical phone to be bigger. So I think I'm gonna get the iPhone 8 Plus. Let me know what you guys are gonna get, uh, but I think I am gonna get the 8 Plus. So that's what I'm looking forward to. I'm just really looking forward to everything fall and just putting summer behind us and just enjoy the rest of the year. It's been a tough, you know, August. August has really sucked. And then now the beginning of September has sucked. But I'm hoping the second half of September going all the way until Christmas is a much better time this year. Hey guys. So it is Thursday. Uh, it has been a wild past couple of days. Um, I still don't have internet in the house and I'm not gonna have it until next Friday now. So that's gonna be really tough. Um, I've won the only plus is today I get my Apple Watch. I've been waiting for over a week. I shipped it out well over a week now and I finally get it back today. Uh, it's not Apple's fault, it's the hurricane's fault. Uh, FedEx, for whatever reason, hasn't resumed until today. Um, on Thursday, the hurricane was over by Monday. People were driving on the street on Monday, which they shouldn't have been, but I mean, a lot of businesses resumed on Tuesday. So I'm shocked it took until Thursday before they would resume. It is what it is. So I at least get my watch today, which is exciting. It's just been crazy. I was even talking, my mother-in-law, she was talking. She's like, yeah, I think the reason why we're taking it so hard, like why we're so tense and so like stressed out over the whole hurricane thing is because we were on vacation right before the hurricane. So we haven't had a day where we could actually just like mellow out and chill out and relax. Um, even on the vacation, we knew about the hurricane coming. So even then we were kind of like, um, we might be going home to a hurricane. So we even on the vacation didn't even get to fully relax. Um, we just always had stuff on the back of our mind. And then we came home to the hurricane and they don't have power so they have that to be worried about we don't have cable or internet which cable i don't care about internet i don't have so i have that to be like stressed out about and just sucks thinking i'm not gonna have it until next friday not tomorrow next friday all right so i officially have my apple watch back started thinking about it though and probably won't be able to really use my watch much because i like to keep it on wi-fi and well, I don't have Wi-Fi, so there's that. That's my new one. Hopefully this bad boy lasts. I am so tired <laughs> of having to keep using the, whatchamacallit, warranty program. So it's much later in the day. Um, we are actually going to dinner with my in-laws. They're gonna take us out. They still don't have power at their house. So that just kind of gives you an idea of how Irma worked. Uh, different areas, even within you know, a 10 mile radius, in fact, even in like yards. Um, some people have power and some don't. So they still don't have power, so they're gonna come stay with us again tonight, but they wanted to uh, go out to dinner tonight. So we're gonna go to dinner. Just have had just kind of a poopy day. I've just been out of it. I haven't really, I don't know. I think I'm, I'm definitely like, I know for a fact I'm being hormonal and I know I'm being like upset for something that's so stupid, but it doesn't change the fact that I just ended up still having a crappy day. I just, I feel frustrated, just the best way of putting it. Um, you know, the trip was amazing. I had a really, really good time on the trip, but you know, when you go on vacation, sometimes you just get so excited to go home and just have normal. And we haven't had normal since we've been home. It's been ridiculous since we've been home. So. I just want things back to normal. I just want to be able to have my normal schedule. I don't know. It doesn't feel like it's already September. It doesn't feel like, you know, falls right around the corner. It just doesn't feel that way for me and it sucks. I think it's because I've also been away from YouTube. I haven't really been able to watch videos. So it's like that hasn't gotten me in the spirit. Um, tonight is the pre-order of the new iPhone. I probably won't be ordering the new iPhone. All right, hey guys, long time no chat, kinda sorta. Um, the AC is blaring, hopefully that doesn't bother you. But um, I'm leaving Starbucks right now. I got to me a coffee. I also worked there for a few hours. Uh, that way I 
could like comfortably work although it was not comfortable I was at one of those like high top tables and I swear to you my back like wanted to break uh, so <laughs> I did that and now I'm gonna go home my husband and I are gonna go to a few places a lot of people are still without power and I know I've been like a total brat and I feel like a million times better now but I've been a total brat because we haven't had internet and Wi-Fi Wi-Fi or cable um, cable I don't really care about it's the Wi-Fi that I need so I've been a little brat about it I've been really down the dumps not because like our cable came back yesterday the cable and Wi-Fi came back I was being a little brat because we canceled it because we're like this is the perfect time to cancel this will be out for days because the cable and internet went out with the storm we're like this is the perfect time to cancel but I've been a brat because it came back and yet I can't get this new provider for another week so I've just been really down the dumps about it yesterday was just a terrible day uh, you know I got to talk with my husband and you know like some people I don't think realize like all it takes like 90% of the time is just talking about it like if something pisses you off or bugs you or what is that oh <laughs> like up here um, if something like oh crap bugs you or something like that like talk about it don't just keep it to yourself because that's when like a lot of fights happen that's when a lot of like bad stuff like drama that you don't need in your life happen so um, all is good now my husband was so sweet and he surprised me he pre-ordered the iPhone 8 for me iPhone 8 plus last night for me because I wouldn't have been able to I didn't have like internet I have data but I'm trying not to use it so he pre-ordered um, one for me last night but the problem is he pre-ordered it somewhere where I can't do a two-year contract so I just don't know like should I should I spend the money on a new phone? I am not getting the iPhone 10. I'm not, I was calling it the iPhone X for a while, but it's the iPhone 10. I'm not gonna get it because I'm really kind of over Apple making products that are so expensive and consumers actually paying for them. There's a ton of tech people who are very knowledgeable on tech and everything it takes to make an iPhone and they themselves have said that the iPhone 10 is not worth that price tag. So the fact that I know people who know a lot about, about technology and all of the little chips and gadgets that go inside the phone, for them to say that the phone still isn't worth that price tag is what makes me say absolutely nothing. I can't stomach spending that much money on an iPhone. It just, I, I can't do it. And plus, I don't know that I really like the way it looks. I never like how phones look, you know, uh, upon release. But the iPhone 8 Plus, I think is way sexier than the iPhone 10. Seriously, everywhere you go, there are trees down, there are power lines on the ground, there's like trees on power lines. There's this one car, um, it was parked in its driveway and a tree didn't even look all it was a big tree what am I saying it was a huge tree actually <laughs> really tall tree it fell on this car this car is smushed into its driveway is how powerful this wind was to be able to pick up the tree from the from the root literally was heavy enough to smush the car flat as a pancake that's how crazy this wind was that's the type of stuff that we're seeing that's the stuff that I'm driving around and seeing like how can you not be in a bad mood when like all you hear is just like people going through like crap right now like everyone's tense all right so i am home i am going to get some editing done finally after my husband and i went over to my in-laws house we went ahead and set up a bank account because we wanted to switch banks as well just everything that we've been using the past couple of years we just haven't been a big fan of so we're switching like everything over i'm just so much better today i feel a lot happier yesterday just was a crappy day everyone has their bad days so anyways um, I'm gonna go ahead and get some editing done since obviously I don't have any internet so I'm gonna get some editing done. Hey guys, it is Saturday and we woke up and we all had breakfast together. We still have my in-laws with us because they still don't have power. Um, Hurricane Irma came on Sunday night so that's gonna be one week that they've been without power. Um, it really went out I guess on Monday so they're almost at one week with no power but thankfully they have a generator. They have two refrigerators and two freezers. The generator is at least making sure that those stay good so that their food doesn't go bad. So yeah, they're still without power though. And what sucks is like the street over from them in their neighborhood has power, which would like, it'd get under my skin if that happened to me. Anyway, we just had breakfast. We had some waffles and eggs and we all just kind of hung out. I've been begging my husband for the new iPhone. This is the stuff that we're still dealing with. There's water all in this parking lot. Just a normal parking lot, just flooded with water. Pretty much all throughout too. So you'll pretty much see this everywhere. Good morning, guys. I'm in the process of doing my makeup right now, but I want to hop on and say hello. It is Sunday and 
we're getting closer and closer to me being able to have some Wi-Fi in my own house, which is great. But uh, it's Sunday, we just got done making a huge breakfast. We made sausage and waffles and eggs and breakfast potatoes and avocado, and it was just a really yummy breakfast. Um, so we all had breakfast, and then my husband ended up checking my in-law's house, and they have power again. So they stayed with us this entire week, um, starting like Monday or Tuesday of last week. So they are now back at their house, but now because they have internet, I'll probably be going there this coming week to work at least there. And also, I pre-ordered the iPhone 8 Plus last night. Uh, my husband was so sweet and he let me uh, pre-order it. So um, I will be getting the iPhone 8 Plus and I'm real excited. I'm gonna get it the day it comes out or at least that's so far how it's supposed to be. Um, I have to pick it up in store. If I had it shipped to me, I wouldn't have it for like two weeks. So I made sure that I did pick up in store because I get it that day. So I'm really excited. I'm excited, but I'm like nervous something's gonna go wrong. As of now, I wasn't able to add my name for me to be the, be the one to pick it up. I'm an authorized person on the account I'm on to be able to buy a phone and everything like that. But for whatever reason, it wouldn't let me make my name be the one who picks up the device. So they said I have to change it on Friday, I'll have to change it to my name, but I can't change it until then because it's a pre-order. I don't really know how that works, but I'm real excited. Um, I'm finally gonna have a Plus phone. I've been wanting it for a while. I feel like people who have the Plus already will be excited for the iPhone 10, but for me, I've wanted the Plus size. I've wanted a bigger phone, like a physically bigger phone. Um, it's not necessarily just the screen, I just, the bigger phone I think looks, just looks nice. I don't know, it's kind of all about looks. And I'm really excited to have a nice camera. That is what I am most, most excited about, is to finally have a good camera on my phone, and I just feel like it's gonna be a big jump going from a six to an eight plus. I'm a little nervous because I have a good solid feeling that next year's model is gonna be even better. I really wish I would have just like upgraded last year when I was supposed to, because if that were the case, I'd have a rose gold iPhone 7 plus, and I'd be able to get next year's model, which I think is going to be a game changer. I think like the iPhone 10 kind of changed the game a little bit, but I think next year's models, all of them are gonna be completely different. I think this was the last model that's gonna be like this. So it is what it is, but I'm real excited. I just hope it all works out. There's always something that happens, like some sort of glitch that happens. Like usually I'm excited for something, just something else comes up. So oh, fingers crossed that everything works out okay. So I'm real excited about that. So that's what I'm gonna do Friday. And then also on Friday is when we're supposed to get our internet. Ronan decided to go for a joy run around the neighborhood. He ended up getting out when my in-laws were leaving. We were packing stuff up and he ended up getting out of the house. So he went for a joy run in the neighborhood. Somehow my father-in-law was able to get him. And uh, <laughs> my husband like just carries him in. It was awful. He freaks me out. Whenever he gets outside, I'm like, he's gonna just run, or run away. He freaks me out when he's out. My husband and I are gonna go to Costco today. And then I think my husband and father-in-law are going to um, fix our fence. We need to replace a post. We kind of just like half fixed it this week after the hurricane. We just made it to where we can still let the dogs out, but it's leaning a lot in my neighbor's yard, but they're so great. They're like, who cares? They don't have a dog, so they're not worried about it falling on a dog or anything like that. For me, I would have been worried having my dogs. I would have been like, what if it falls on them? But they've been great. They're gonna fix it to where it stands up straight again and doesn't, it's like leaning like this much, literally about that much. So they're just gonna fix it, go straight. Um, my husband ran to Lowe's to go drop off. We bought a bunch of boards to board up the house for the hurricane but uh, he's taking the ones we didn't use back. I think that's it. So things are finally starting to look up a little bit. I'm real excited. Oh, also, I had my husband get out. I don't know if I even said it, but I had my husband get out the fall decor and the Halloween decor. This was all he found were just these things, but I know there's more. Like every year there's like three or four boxes. So I don't, I don't know. I feel like there's supposed to be more of that. So I don't know, we'll figure it out, but I'm really excited. I'm so excited to decorate again, but I just wanted to clean the house first before I did put everything out. But I'm so excited to decorate. I'm gonna do fall first, and then maybe in about a week or two, I'll start putting out all the Halloween stuff. I think because of all the commotion, I haven't really had my head in like the Halloween game. Um, I just don't, it doesn't feel like next month is Halloween. I, I don't like feel that at all. I can tell like this month is gonna be fall. In fact, fall's in three days. Fall starts on either the 22nd or 23rd. So it's either in four or five days. I'm so excited. I'm trying to really budget myself um, a lot, so I probably won't be doing any fall hauls, unfortunately. I thought I was gonna have so many fall hauls this year. Since I don't have the wedding to plan, I'll be able to get a lot more fall stuff, but I don't think so. I think I'm gonna budget myself pretty hard um, the remaining of the year. You know, now I have a car payment, which I've never had before, and you know, I just wanna make sure I'm spending wisely and saving my money for things I really want, like the iPhone. Um, and I'd buy like stupid little things every time I go to Target or something, so. 
anyway i'm gonna go finish my makeup and get on with my day <laughs> <laughs> 